Hi, I'm Emily, and this is Eliza. She's three and a half months old, and I also have a son, Paul, who's four. He's watching Mickey Mouse, I believe, in the other room while we do this. This is my video answers for the Pale Video Vlog, which is a video blog about yourself that we're all sharing. So, I'm going to answer the questions. We live in the United States. We live in Massachusetts, um, outside of Boston. And my favorite ordinary moment of the day is probably after dinner when all the dishes are washed and the kids are in their pajamas and I've just fed Eliza and she's smiley and happy and Paul is smiley and happy and um, we're getting ready for bed, which is, you know, as most parents know, bedtime is always a good time, but it's also just such a nice cozy time to be cuddled up together and everybody is usually happy. Uh, the first thing I do with my little one in the morning well, I just went back to work for a few weeks, um, so the first thing I do now is wake her up because she's a good sleeper, so I have to wake her up and feed her. Um, and my son is usually in the bed with me as well. He gets up when my husband goes to work and at 4.30 and comes into the bed with, with mommy, so we usually all snuggle up in bed together while I feed Eliza, and then I get up and go about my day. Um, what has infertility changed the most about me? I would say that it's changed my assumptions about people. Um, this was secondary infertility, so I had no problems at all conceiving my son, and then I uh, had a lot of trouble getting to little Missy Moo here. So it's made me realize that a lot of people struggle with this and don't don't talk about it and don't share, and you might not know that somebody's had, had losses or has been trying to have a baby for a long time, and so it's really made me more aware of you know, things that other people might be going through that I hadn't, hadn't even occurred to me previously. It never occurred to me that you could have one child easily and then really have a hard time having another child. Uh, what do I wish people knew about pregnancy or parenting through the uh, ally journey, which is pregnancy and parenting after loss, or infertil loss and infertility? Um, I would say I wish they knew basically that, but just because you had one, one baby doesn't mean that it's going to be easy for you to have another, and I can, you know, can't even begin to count how many times people said, "Oh, when are you going to have another baby? Your bro your little boy needs a brother or sister," and you know, it was always really upsetting because we'd been trying and trying and trying and not having any luck until this one came along. So, I think that's something I definitely wish people knew, and also that it's still hard, even though you're obviously so thankful for the baby that you have and you realize that there are so many people out there who are desperate for babies and can't have them or have had loss after loss and you're extremely thankful for that it's you know it's still the day-to-day -day of it is still diapers and not enough sleep and spit up and drool and all of that stuff so so yes you're very thankful and then you feel a little guilty about it and then you realize that you know you just have to do the best that you can do so those are the answers to the pale video uh, vlog questions and I look forward to seeing all of the others and getting to know everybody on the Pale Blog World a little bit. Okay, say bye-bye, Eliza. <laughs> she likes watching herself on the video. Say bye-bye.